Yo, what is going on? I have six questions here. I'm going to answer six common questions about stuttering. I asked this inside of my Facebook group and I got some answers back. Now, I've talked about this Facebook group before. It's fucking a blessing. It's where you can interact with me. It's where you can learn all the things you need to learn in order to overcome your stutter. I'm having live classes once per week starting this week it's going to be fucking beautiful so if you're serious about overcoming your stutter join this free facebook group so let's get into the questions right now i'm going to fire off a bunch of answers the first question why do we have good and bad days like why are some days i can speak completely fine some days i can't this used to be so fucking painful for me because I'd go for months with stuttering, stuttering, stuttering heavily, being so ashamed of my stutter. Then I'd have like a week or six days or five days of like almost complete fluency. And I would think to myself, I've overcome it. This is so easy. It's so easy to talk. Why can't I always do this? And then boom, back into it for a few months. It was so painful. And the reason why, the reason why you have good days and you have bad days, it's of course based upon why, the reason why you have good days and bad days is because of the tension in your body, is because of the psychological negative self loop you have going on in your brain so when you have certain tension in your body your mind and body are connected just your mind and body are connected period and if you're holding on to tension and your body is tight your mind is also in a repressive state because you're holding on to shit because you're not expressing these stored emotions that is causing your body and your muscles to tense up fear anxiety or whatever right doubt shame now you get put into a psychological rut where you start to anticipate and you start to hold a lot of fear and a lot of beliefs about yourself and about your capabilities your speaking capabilities inside of this rut and this causes you to get put into a stuttering state and in the times where you're speaking more fluently, you're not in this psychological rut. Your body's more tension free. The mind and body are connected. That's the quickest way I can explain this without diving into the full in-depth research. And uh, I don't know if research is the right word, but you know what I'm saying. All right, that's the first question. Tension in the body, it changes. And with the tension in your body changes, so does the thoughts in your mind change. All right. Second question right now. Oh, I lost my page. One second. What speech techniques should I use? All right. What speech techniques should I use? Fucking none. Fucking no speech techniques. Why? Because you can already speak fine when you're in a room by yourself you can already speak fine when you're talking to an animal to a pet you can already speak fine a speech technique is like putting a band-aid on a fucking gash on an open sore it's or, or, that's a bad analogy on a broken arm it's like putting a band-aid on a broken arm it's not going to do shit it's just like <laughs> That's a bad analogy too. <laughs> Basically, a speech technique is just you trying to bypass the real work. The reason why you're stuttering isn't because you forgot how to speak or you forgot how to breathe. Yes, you, your breath may quicken, so you, for you to slow down everything is a great is a great um, thing to do. Always to slow down. No matter if you stutter or not, just to slow the fuck down. 
but it's doing a speech technique where you're taking three words per breath and you have to talk at the inhale and shit like that. You are just trying to bypass your stutter with a trick. Your stutter is only showing you where you're where where you're holding tension, where you're having this anxiety and fear and doubt and lim and limiting self beliefs about yourself. And if you're unwilling to do the work to face your fear of being judged, to face the fear of being judged, to face the fear of being rejected, if you're if you're unwilling to do that work and just want to do a speech technique, you will never address the real root issue and your speech will continue to fluctuate. You will continue to have um, shame and guilt and embarrassment connected to your stutter and you will never feel at peace speaking because you're not at peace with yourself. A speech technique is never the fucking answer. You have to address the fear of being judged and the fear of being rejected first. Third question, why don't I stutter when I'm alone? Because there's no one there to externally judge you. There's no one there that you're putting your self-worth into the hands of. Let me break this down a little bit. Um, when we're in a conversation and we're gonna stutter a lot, we are putting them, we are putting the other people up on a pedestal. Oh, like, Think about the last time you were, stu you were stuttering so severely. You were trying to prove yourself. You were trying to please them. You are trying to be perfect, all because you put them on a pedestal. And when they're on a pedestal and you're down here and they're up here, they have the ability to dictate your self-worth because you think, they're be you think they're better than you. And if you think they're better than you, then they know more, then they are, they're more valuable, then their words mean more. And if they have a negative judgment on you, that's going to hurt your self-esteem. That's going to hurt, hurt your self-worth. So what you do then is you feel an immense amount of pressure to perform and to speak fluently, which causes you to stutter. When you're in a room by yourself, there's no external judgment coming in. So you can go <laughs> and do whatever the fuck you want to do and no one's going to judge you. You, you won't feel embarrassed if you do that. So speaking fine is just a natural by, natural byproduct of that state that you're in. Fourth question. Why do I stutter on certain words? Um, to, to, to be honest, I don't I wouldn't know the exact answer to which words and why because there's certain words that, you have trauma with um, like for for example your name now that might that that was such an important word for you to say that is such an important word for you to say because it's your fucking name you get asked it a lot so you put a lot of importance in saying that word fluently and then you've stuttered on it before and now in your mind you're already saying I'm gonna stutter on my name, I'm gonna fucking stutter on my name, I'm gonna fucking stutter on my name. So you stutter on your name because you believe this is gonna happen. So there's words that are um, like a trauma to you, have, tra have traumatized you and put you in a state where you feel a lot of pressure to say it. And there's other words that cause um, more like you have to release more air to say and when you're tight like for example when you whisper you don't have to release that much air because you're whispering so no matter how tight you are air can still pass through but when you're trying to be expressive and say expressive words that release a lot of air if that makes sense you're going to get caught on that, on that word be because there's more air coming out, there's more exhale coming out and you're tight. So it's just, it's get, it gets caught. I hope that makes sense. All right. Um, and there's also other reasons why, um, but I would have to know your situation a bit more. The fifth question, should I identify as a person who stutters? I'd say that's, that's up to you, but if you're, if you're ashamed to say that you stutter, 
that's a sign that there's no way that you will ever accept yourself. Um, and if you are purposely trying to say, yeah, that you don't stutter in hopes that you're just going to forget that you stutter or whatever that may be, whatever excuse you may have in your brain, that shit's just not going to happen. Like, I like to say that I stutter, but I'm not going around being like, I'm a person who stutters, I'm a person who stutters. Like, no, if someone asks, or even if I'm in a conversation and I catch myself stu stuttering quite a bit, then I will tell them I stutter. It's not like a, I have to label myself every time I speak. It's just a natural thing that comes out because I'm not ashamed of it at all. Sixth question, final question. Is it possible to completely overcome stuttering? That depends on your terminology of what overcoming stuttering is. If it's saying 100% fluency, then no, of course, no one is 100% fluent in this world. But if overcoming stuttering to you, which means, which is what this means to me, is being able to express yourself completely naturally, as if you're in a room by yourself, and your stutter is not holding you back your stutter is not dictating your actions it's not dictating your thoughts it's not dictating anything you're doing you're living a life that is authentic to you then yes you can overcome stuttering stuttering doesn't have to be this fucking burden that drags you down you can stutter and act like nothing fucking happened and that's what life is like for me right now and uh, not right now for like the past few years and that's why I help people achieve that achieve that freedom as well because it's fucking blissful to not have to think about your stutter 24 7 all right so I hope that made sense remember I have a Facebook group where I'll be interacting with all of you it's getting fucking intense in there and I love it I'll be sharing content that won't go anywhere else in that group so if you want to get serious about overcoming your stutter look at the closest link down below in the description and you 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 can join that free facebook group all right i love you peace out